Generally speaking, if you're a kid growing up in Pittsburgh, like Jesse and Josh Lyle, the last place you ever want to be is in a courtroom across the table from Detective Jack Mook. How do? Mook is a by the book, no nonsense, chew him up, spit him out, 22 year veteran of the force. Outside of work, he's a committed bachelor, a man's man, who would never so much as let a Vidalia see his soft side. For fun, he hits people and volunteers at the Steel City Boxing Gym, Flip. teaching the sport to underprivileged kids. To Most of the kids that come in this gym are street kids. I'm not going to hurt you. And many of them have been uh, born into poverty. Kids like 11-year-old Jesse and his 15-year-old brother, Josh. Long before their date in court, Jack had been working with them. Turn that hand. He really liked these kids Set. and knew the feeling was mutual. Turn that hand. So when they just stopped showing up at the gym one day, jab, jab. Jack went out and found the older boy. And he looked terrible. Bags under his eyes, 12 years old. And he was asking me about it. And then I just cried. What Jack didn't know, what no one knew till that moment, was just how bad these kids had it. They were in a foster home with foster parents who Jack says were extremely abusive and neglectful. They have had it as worse as any other kid that's ever lived in the city of Pittsburgh, living conditions wise. Really? And that just, I had enough of it. So Jack Mook took matters into his own hands, cashed in some favors, and got the kids placed in a new home. You want something else to eat? His. I slept the best I ever did that night. Jack has been their foster parent for almost two years now. And for this tough guy detective, it's still quite a transition. He says the homework alone is brutal. I'm relearning prepositions and declarative statements, and this is right up your alley. I have no idea what this kid's talking about. Don't you got a dictionary thing on there? And homework is just the beginning of this bachelor's rebranding. I'm in here trying to learn my culinary skills, brother. But I get the sense that you're really loving this. Yeah, yes. It, it's awesome. It's the best thing I ever did in my life. At least it was the best thing. That's it. Until this past week, when he went to court and did one better. He'll be successful. Adopted the boys. Right, come on, guys. And made them mooks. You're mook, right? You happy? Good. Now you're going to go home and cut my grass. Safe to say the thought of chores has never been more welcome.